fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Venomized Loki and Anti-Venom Iron Man from the newly renamed Epic World of Action series from Hasbro. So these are under the Avengers banner, but it's also part of the Venom vs. subline, which is also carrying over into the Spider-Man series from Epic World of Action. So I really don't know what to think of these yet. Um, I'm noticing a lot of the heroes have these weird translucent chests. So we'll see how that goes. And then we're getting a Venomized version of Loki before an actual Loki, which I think is kind of funny. Also, still have Captain Marvel on the packaging here, even though they've never given us a Captain Marvel figure, which I think is weird. So we'll see how these go. Uh, but we're back to bubble on cards, so we don't have uh, you know any of those boxes where you can reach in and touch the figure anymore. But that has changed for a while now. Taking a look at the back here, you can see the Venomized Loki fighting Thor. Uh, and then you can also see this new Iron Man fighting Venom. So just kind of showing off some previous figures, you know, villains that it makes sense for them to be fighting here. They have some kind of features here. There's clip-on gear. Uh, Venomized Loki says that there is a Battle Gear Scepter, which on the front it says has a pop-out Magic Blast. So I don't know what that means. And then Anti-Venom Iron Man has Battle Gear Jetpack, which has a pop-out Thruster. So we'll take a look at all that. I'm gonna go ahead and get these two out of the packaging here and we'll take a closer look. So here are the two figures out of the packaging. Honestly, the figures themselves are not too bad. The giant clip-on accessories are kind of ridiculous. We'll get into that in a moment. But we'll start over here with Venomized Loki. Actually looks pretty decent. It does look like the uh, chest has the same kind of transparent quality to it. So you can see there, you can kind of see my finger on the other side, at least kind of blocking out the light. So I don't know if it's just all of these figures are going to have these kind of translucent chests that are then painted over top of, um, which I, I don't really get. I don't know how that applies to Venom Versus. I'm assuming the whole Venom Versus thing is supposed to kind of coincide with the Venom War that's going on in the comics right now, which is actually just about to end, or has just ended, I think. Um... So I don't know if that's, you know, they're just kind of putting a, you know, less adult spin on that. <laughs> um, but in any case, we have Venomized Loki here. Now, it does look like, you know, there is like molded detail for armor underneath and it's just been done in black plastic. So maybe this is a pre-tool of some kind in true Hasbro fashion, giving us a version you might not necessarily care about so that you buy it and then making the version you actually want later on and then you buy a second one. That's how they like to operate. But it's still kind of cool. I mean, the Venom symbol on the chest is nicely painted. You get a little bit of gold here for the shoulders. The horns on top are actually kind of a translucent green plastic. And the face sculpt is honestly not bad. Personally, I would have liked to see him with like the full Venom mask with the big white eyes and everything, but that's just me. Uh, you have this accessory here. At first, I thought this was supposed to be like a Venom, you know, symbiote tendril. But now the more I look at it, this could kind of be maybe like smoke coming off of this. And maybe he's forming like a ball of energy because it does have kind of a translucent property to it. But basically, this is just a little peg here that the he just, figure just holds on to. So nothing really big there. But overall, I think the figure looks decent. Usual articulation. You have the ball joint for the head. So side to side movement. Very easy to do. Tiniest little bit of front and back. You have a really tight ratchet here in the shoulder as well as a rotation you have a hinge and a rotation at the elbow uh, forearm hand is all one solid piece so nothing at the wrist and then you can kind of kick out to the side can't really go back because they have butt flaps but you can kick forward mine's a little tight to kick forward but it can still do it and then you have a hinge and a rotation at the knee so pretty standard articulation for epic hero series i'm sorry epic world of action yeah, the name was the problem. But anyway, pretty decent little figure here. The accessories, like I said, this thing's okay. I mean, it just kind of pops into his hand pretty easily. And uh, not really having any issues with that. This thing, on the other hand, is kind of ridiculous. Let me see if I can get him to stand. Now he doesn't want to stand. Let me, let me turn the legs. There we go. So I guess this is supposed to be like Loki's staff, because that's what I feel like this is going for. And it almost looks like this piece could pop out. Um, which I kind of wish it could. I wish you could just pull this out and have him hold it as a staff because this whole thing together is too big. So you have this peg here on the back. So you can peg it into his back if you want. 
but that just looks super gigantic and ridiculous. Um, the other thing you can do with it is like this piece will go in and then you press this button here and it just pops out. So I don't know what that's accomplishing. Maybe it's supposed to be like he's shooting a spell at him or something. Uh, you do have this little piece here that can fold down and then it can clip onto his wrist, but it's pretty tight. And I, I wonder about, I think this piece is done in solid black plastic. So I don't think I have to worry about any paint chipping off, but it's kind of difficult to get on the hand. And that just looks, I mean, I'm surprised he can actually stand. So that's a good quality <laughs> that I wasn't expecting, but that just is so big and gaudy and weird. And so I don't know, this accessory is not really doing it for me personally. Um, well, we'll see how long he can stand with that attached. I don't mind the other one. I think that's kind of decent because you can kind of think of it as either like a spell with smoke or you can think of it as like a, a symbiote tendril, something like that. So that's not too bad. But this this giant one over here, I mean, that's just... They keep trying to force these big spring-loaded gimmicks into this line. And I think just let the figures stand on their own. Give them accessories that make sense. Normal accessories. But, you know, they got to go for the big goofy play features. Moving on now to the Anti-Venom Iron Man. Which I don't really know what makes him Anti-Venom. I would have loved to have seen... Since we have Venomized Loki... Have Iron Man with the anti-venom symbiote. Make him white with a big black spider on the chest. Incorporate some of that symbiote. I think that would look so much cooler. But alas, not what happened here. So you have the big translucent chest piece here. It's definitely way more evident here, you can see. Now, I honestly can't tell if this is like translucent plastic inlaid. I think it is. The more I look at this, I think this is translucent plastic inlaid to this red plastic because i don't think this whole thing is painted it just doesn't really look like that to me it looks like this is translucent core is kind of inlaid into the rest of the torso there which it works i mean there's nice molded detail you see the arc reactor again i don't know why his whole chest is translucent or how that's anti-venom in any way but i think the head looks good nice gold paint there i like the little bit of purple on the uh, biceps and the thighs here. I think that looks kind of cool. Overall, it's a decent armor for Iron Man. So, I actually don't mind the figure. I'm not a big fan of the crazy translucent chests or why that's a thing, because I've seen uh, some of the other figures have that as well. And again, I just don't get... It would be one thing if it was like the Power Core subline or something like that, but it's Venom versus, and I don't understand how having a translucent chest fight symbiotes but here we are so again it's going to be the same articulation he has a little bit more movement at the head than most of the figures i have to say he can actually kind of look out a decent little bit uh even tilt side to side a little bit as well but the shoulder the uh elbows here the hips the knees they're all the exact same articulation as loki but yeah it's a decent little figure now in terms of this I like the look of this aesthetically. I think the color choice is nice. I like the kind of metallic ish. Metallic -ish. <laughs> yeah, metallic ish kind of purple with the translucent purple and the blue. You got the venom uh, spider here kind of looking neat. Um, so aesthetically, I think it's neat. I mean, practically, it's just a backpack. So you can push this down and it'll click into place. And then you can press this triangle and it'll flip out. I don't know if that's supposed to be like wings for him or not. You can angle the boosters so they can spin all the way around, which is kind of neat. So if we go ahead and peg this onto the back, like so, um, then you can kind of hit the button and I guess those wings can flip out. Um, I almost kind of want to turn it around because I feel like that shows a little bit less. So you could do either one. The The packaging shows you to do it like this. But I actually almost kind of like the look of that better. It would be one thing if, like, the backpack had a light in it. And that's why the chest was translucent. And you were going to peg this into the back. And then it was going to, you know, hit a button on here and it shines light through the chest. Okay, then I can understand what's going on. Makes total sense. But that's not really happening here. This is just a backpack that doesn't really do much so i don't really know what's going on with that and then you have this piece here which is this kind of like little arm shield with the venom eyes on it 
and this can clip onto the forearm and it'll hang out there pretty decently. Uh, the other thing you can do is clip it on here. So this kind of little protrusion right there, you just clip this on. It doesn't really snap on. It just kind of hangs out. Um, it won't fall off necessarily, but it's not the sturdiest connection. But then it also looks like it's got a cutout here, like I'm supposed to peg this through it. So I don't really know what's going on. Or it almost looks like it's supposed to go around the arc reactor. It would almost be kind of neat if it kind of pegged onto the chest or something. I don't know. I just feel like there's more they could have done with this. This just... I don't necessarily hate it. It just doesn't really make any sense to me. I don't really know what's going on with all of this. I guess that's just supposed to shine the... Like, the blue is supposed to come through, but I, I can't push the button while this is attached, and there's no light. So maybe it was a situation where there were supposed to be lights. It almost kind of feels like that was the idea, because this feels built up. And the way all this is kind of translucent, it makes it almost feel like maybe in the early planning stages, there was going to be a light-up gimmick, and then they just kind of scrubbed it because... Maybe it would drive the unit price up too much and they didn't have any confidence in it. That feels very probable, but I don't know that for a fact. That's just pure speculation. Also, this backpack is pretty heavy, so he's not really wanting to stand with it attached. Let me see if I uh, pitch him forward. There we go. Kinda. So, at the end of the day, they're not bad figures, they're just, like, I don't need the spring-loaded goofy gimmicks. Like, I would honestly get rid of these and drop them down to $9.99. That's where I'm at. As these stand, they are $12.99 each. I got mine on Amazon. I have not seen them in stores anywhere. So Amazon's the only place that really has them yet. And, you know, because of the spring-loaded gimmicks, they kind of jump up from either $9 or $10.99 to $12.99. And I would say... You know, just just lose the spring-loaded gimmicks. Give me him with this accessory, maybe him with one better accessory, and just make him $10.99. That's where I would be at. I don't hate the accessories. I just don't really need them. They're not super effective. The figures themselves, I think, are fine. Uh, I mean, how many Iron Man have we had at this point? So here's another one, if you like the translucent chest. I just don't understand the whole point of the translucent chest Unless there was a light-up gimmick. And that's why I really feel like maybe there was one planned. And it, they just had to scrap it for budgetary reasons. That's my guess. Because I really feel like if the light was in the chest... It almost feels like this was maybe supposed to be... I know it's just a screw, but maybe that's where it was supposed to shine through or something. Because it kind of lines up with like the middle of the chest. I don't know. Maybe, they, maybe I'm making this all up and there was never a light-up gimmick. But it just feels like why else would you have a translucent chest unless you were planning on shining a light through it because as far as being anti-venom iron man nothing about this screams specifically meant to fight symbiotes so i don't really understand what that's about or why the other avengers have translucent chests as well so i'll stop talking about it but it, the way it stands for me i actually like the figures venomized loki it's weird i don't know why we needed it but it's cool and I don't have, like, a full Loki from this series. I have one back from the, uh, uh, what was it? The Kenner 3.75-inch retro line. And he's fine. And this is kind of an interesting take. Like, I'm all, I'm all for doing interesting things. You know, Venomized Loki, okay. Personally, I would have liked him to have a full face mask with the Venomized. I think that would have been cooler. Still have the horns. The horns are awesome. But, you know, paint his full face and give me the Venomized. Um... I just don't need these spring-loaded accessories, but yeah. So, from a collector's standpoint, I can't not... I'm very conflicted. I want to recommend them, but at the same time, I want you to know what you're getting into. I think, from a collector's standpoint, the figures are good. I wish I could get rid of the accessories and save a couple dollars each, but I still don't think they're so overly priced. Like, $12.99 is still fairly reasonable, in my opinion, but you could just wait it out, and they'll probably be on sale eventually on Amazon, because that's what these usually happen, just go down in price. So, I would say maybe wait, save a couple bucks, unless there's one that you're dying to have right now. I don't think you'll be disappointed, but you'll probably just not 
do anything with these weird gimmicks. You'll put them to the side and just enjoy the figure. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.